I gotta get these coins out of the bank so that Cosmos can become back to the way he was. In the last YouTube you saw, I put these coins in this bank because I read in the logbook here he can turn into a real person and I thought, wow, that'd be really neat. Uh-oh, it wasn't so neat. He's dying. He's getting too old. It says right here, don't leave him as a human for very long. He needs to go back and be a, a bank, a clay bunny. And he's got these coins, and i got to get these things out of him because the more I take out of him, then he'll turn back. Oh, wow. And I got the last one. All i got to do now is set the compass. Oh, cosmos. All right, there he is, and put it in. Wow, it worked. Cosmos no longer is a real person. He's back to being a bang. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to this film short. I'm your host, the doc, the ghost net guy of Washington State. In this upcoming film short titled Lizard Fish of the Pacific Northwest. What a title. And I'm not even sure it is a lizard fish. You see, the other day I was out doing a near shoreline survey, but this time we were in a little deeper water, 200 to 300 foot depth, looking at this rock and sandy area. Fairly good visibility today, but we're using hardly any lights because we don't want to disturb the fish on the seafloor. You come in with a lot of big heavy lights, ah, that's not good. So we're just low light today, but we're making a slow drift, and look what I came across. This is a lizard fish. However, I'm not sure that I can even say that. I've been online looking things up. All I could find was lizard fish of what it looked like, snakehead fish. Oh, the teeth in these things are amazing. And if you get an opportunity to get online and check this out, could you please help me and Cosmos learn what it is that we found on the seafloor in the southern end of Puget Sound, the lizard fish. Now, through the way that we can edit and stuff, oh, this is cool. Okay, so as we watch the lizard fish here, there it was. It was a pretty fast shot, wasn't it? Now, let's get back and watch it again and hold it in a still position at the tail. See? Now, if we run it through again, and then we bring it back and we run it through again, there's the tail. Oh, and we stop. Look at here. You see on the two flippers that he has and the way that the head is raised and he's stilled? It's not a real clear picture. But it gives you enough to see that this is some type of lizard-looking fish that I have not ever seen before in 30 years of filming on the seafloor of the Northwest. So if you're a scientist from National Marine Fisheries or you're a college intern that's looking to learn more about Puget Sound, please don't hesitate to get a hold of me on this because I truly would like to know what kind of critter is this and where did it come from. Until next time, everyone, this is The Doc for Cosmos, which now is a bank. <laughs> Be safe out of the water and always wear your life jacket. Bye-bye.